Hello and welcome back to our channel where we discuss latest defense related news. Our videos are now in multiple languages, please change your captions accordingly. Imagine a radar system that could make or break a fighter jet's performance in the heat of battle. Welcome to the world of airborne radar technology. Today we are going to compare Pakistani JF-17 Block 3's radar with its Indian counterpart Tekas MK-1A's radar China's klj 7 aaesa radar, hailed as the world's first air-cooled airborne fire control AESA radar, promises innovation. Mounted on the JF-17 Block 3 fighter, this radar uses air cooling instead of the traditional liquid cooling, aiming to cut costs and simplify maintenance. However, defense analysts worry about its performance in high-temperature regions like the Indian subcontinent, where air cooling might not suffice, potentially leading a lower performance and or detection range. Traditional AESA radars use liquid cooling to manage the heat from thousands of transmit, receive modules, ensuring stable performance. There is general enemy propaganda that the KLJ-7A's air cooling mechanism may lead to reduced detection ranges and slower response times in warmer climates. In regions where temperatures exceed 40 degrees Celsius, the radar could face thermal overload, risking shutdowns or even structural damage. Whereas Indian radar Atom, still under development, is claimed to be using liquid cooling. Whereas the JF-17's KLJ-7A's radar offers better range that is approximately 200 kilometers, whereas Tekas's radar claims to be 200 when in service. In terms of Atom radar it has 700-900 TR modules. Whereas JF-17's radar is reported to be around 1200 modules, giving it more advantage. It's reported that both of these radars have had gallium nitride GAN, based TR modules, which offers higher power output, improved efficiency and faster switching speeds. While the KLJ-7A offers a cost-effective solution and is more mature platform which is in service from 2016. Whereas Atom radar is still in infancy and needs to be in active service to prove its tall claims. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, consider subscribing for more in-depth defense analysis and news update.